So welcome to our 24th Visual Basic tutorial and this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use something called subs inside of Visual Basic and if you don't know what a sub is it's basically like it can store a block of code which we can use over and over again later on so we just need to say use this code so that's what we're going to be doing so I just put a button in and change the text to this button to call a sub change the text of the form to subs and double click on the button see the code now as you can see this is a private sub and uh, so would form one low so would pretty much anything so this button one click so so would any kind of uh, control when it's clicked on or any event that happens with it so we're going to create another sub so just put it under uh, above private sub button one click and this is going to be sub and then you need to put what the name of this sub is going to be so I'm going to set the name to my message so this is going to display a message box and it should put the uh, open bracket close bracket automatically and then end sub and then here we put that block of code that we want to um, that we want that to be executed when uh, when we call it so in here we're just going to put message box I'm going to spell it right message box dot show open bracket close bracket and in quotation marks inside it we're going to put you just called a sub and like that's a very good thing so now we just need to call that sub so inside button one click we're just going to put call and then we put the name of that sub which is my message and open bracket close bracket and that's all we have to do so I run that press call a sub and you just called a sub so it worked and for the button one click event we didn't put anything saying message box that show you called you just called a sub or anything like that so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found it useful and i'll see you in the next tutorial